New at 6, concerns over carbon monoxide in thousands of police patrol SUVs. And now 9 Investigates found out one local agency is spending thousands to guard against officers breathing the toxic gas. Channel 9's Field Sutton asked Osceola County about plans to retrofit nearly 200 vehicles. The sheriff's office here has been buying the police version of the Ford Explorer for several years now, so they have a bunch of them. But this is the first one to start undergoing potential modifications as they test that carbon monoxide detector right there. The exhaust on 198 Ford Explorer police interceptors running 12 hours a day is at risk of re-entering the cabin where deputies sit with no warning. I almost hit a bus and scared the in Austin, Texas, recently, an officer found himself out of control and scared behind the wheel. Similar carbon monoxide scares across the nation have Central Florida agencies watching their explorers closely. This is hardwired. In Osceola County, they're testing carbon monoxide detectors. Okay, so now this one, we've mounted a 12-volt unit. The hope is that they'll beep long before a deputy's life is at risk and until testing in this one explorer is done. We have these already. The other 197 of them will get these color changing stickers as a safety stopgap. All told, the sheriff's office expects to spend $12,000 on early warning devices. Yeah, better safe than sorry. That's, that's, a, that's not much to pay for officer safety. And for now, warnings may be the only solution. Ford tells me it has sent bulletins out trying to fix the problem, but the company the company claims law enforcement may be to blame thanks to aftermarket modifications that involve drilling extra holes in the SUVs. Two of the area's biggest agencies say they are not making any changes right now. Both Orlando Police and the Orange County Sheriff's Office told me they've had no incidents and are not taking any action. In Osceola County, Field Sutton, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. We also asked the Seminole County Sheriff's Office about its Ford Explorers. We are still waiting for a response.